Hi, good morning. I'm Evie Pamelar. I'm the country coordinator for Panthera, Panthera's uh, Jaguar program. And we're here at Iwokrama today because we're doing a project on sustainable hunting with, um, with the entire area. This project is part of our jaguar program because when there's not sufficient prey available then there's a lot of conflict with jaguars, jaguars eating cow, jaguars eating dog and so on. So Panthera works with jaguar conservation in Guyana but also in all the other countries from Mexico down to Argentina because it's the first range-wide um, species conservation program in the world. And this program is looking at core areas where they can preserve jaguars but most importantly but areas that connect these core areas which we call corridors and there's still a lot of jaguars left in in guyana but we're starting to work towards um, finding out where the key populations are and in light of development where these corridors may be in the future so at the moment we are working on a hunting sustainability project which will include um, anybody that uses wildlife, whether it's for trade, whether it's for consumption, whether it's for uh, sale. And what we want to do is actually support um, the development of the implementation of wildlife regulations through scientific data and come up with a sustainable management plan for uh, wildlife in the area. This, for us, mostly to support um, jaguar conservation, but also for um, the people of Guyana to still be able to use the wildlife that they love. Anything Wonderful. Um, sure. If I if I can ask some, some questions, if yeah, you sure. don't mind. Sure. What's the population, so to speak, of jaguar remaining in Guyana based on your preliminary that you're having now? Um, on average, there are about three jaguars per hundred square kilometers, so we could extrapolate that to the whole of Guyana. But we're now noticing that there are certain areas with um, lower densities of jaguars. Uh, for example, we're doing a project not too far from here where there's a lot of mining, logging and hunting and so going on. And actually there we're seeing that the, the jaguar density is low. But we need a lot more research so because it was just a preliminary project. But we've done some work in the savannas, the Rupununi savannas. And there we find about three uh, jaguars per hundred square kilometers. So if you multiply that. Oh, and some areas you might find a little more concentrated and some less, yeah. but when you average it out, that's what you're that's actually yes. great. We actually worked in a logging concession um, just east of here, northeast of here, and there we found a very high density, like almost twice as many. So yeah, when you average it out... It, it Where is that again, from? So? Uh, that's in Sharabaru. Um, it's... What region is that? In the Burbis, Burbis area. Oh, great. Yeah. Um, uh, would you say that the population here is reasonably healthy? Um, in Guyana, yes. Uh, the jaguar population here is reasonably healthy. Um, I, there are no immediate threats for the jaguar going extinct in Guyana. But, we're, as I mentioned before, we're doing a uh, range-wide jaguar conservation program. And there are, in other countries, we're definitely seeing um, jaguar populations getting isolated because of a lot of development going on. So, in Guyana, we want to be ahead of the game and avoid that to happen. So, just assist with planning a little bit of land use. You mentioned earlier that some area, they're doing some logging and it's very low there. What area is that? Um, it's actually around the Mabura area. Mabura. It's not so much the logging, but there are, it's a com the combined pressures we think is, is affecting the density of jaguars there. Combined pressure in terms of living people to coming to the area to live, to do commerce and so on, like that? It's, it's a combination of, um, not so much the logging, because we notice in logging concessions that jaguar densities are not really affected, but there is a lot of hunting, there's a lot of mining, uh -huh. um, there's also uh, more people living there. The other concession where we worked, there was not really anybody living there. So that all affects. Lastly, just, just a little information for you, um, in the Aichuni Ibini area, mm -hmm. not too far from Georgetown, just off Linden, you're going through as if you're going to Kokwani. Mm -hmm. There's a healthy population there because a lot of people doing uh, cattle mm -hmm. and uh, rearing sheep and so on, mm -hmm. and the population there is apparently attracting them, mm -hmm. and most nights the guys sometimes will have to um, uh, either shoot them or something like that and that is not good mm -hmm. so if you guys can go and do something there and sensitize the people not to do that mm -hmm. um, I think that will be good uh, sometimes the guy said he had to shoot one not too long ago mm -hmm. because it jumped into the cage into the uh, pen 
where the goats were mm -hmm. and they could not have um, get it out so they had to kill it yeah. so uh, and it's happening very very often so uh, it'll be good if you can visit. Have you ever visited that area? I visited that area because it's on the way to the same logging concession and we have heard about conflict there as well as here as well as in the south of Guyana and it's actually one of the specialties of, of our organization. So Panthera has uh, conflict specialists in various countries and what we want to do this year actually is bring one of those specialists here. Um, but that's not that's not fixed yet. But hopefully, within our program, we'll be able to bring specialists to the country that can start informing people. In the meantime, for example, the project that we're doing now, uh, where we work with sustainable hunting, that is also working towards those issues. Because what happens in many cases is there's just not enough prey, and then jaguars start looking for uh -huh. for alternative foods and cows are just easy it can also be other cases for example old individuals and so on but um prey availability is just really really important wonderful so, lastly can you. you say uh sorry i'm not done where are you from uh, i'm actually i'm originally from belgium belgium, belgium a european yes. country okay yes. um and you reside there i live in georgetown okay great wonderful lastly any final word um Sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I think when when people um, have information about jaguars or any issues with jaguars, they can always contact us. Um, we have a Facebook page now, so if you look at Panthera, can, can you see that Facebook um, page? That um, sure. that uh, email. Uh, sorry, uh, address the website. The website. It's just Panthera Guyana. So Facebook.com/slash Panthera Guyana, and then you can reach us. Thank you very much. You've been very very helpful. <laughs> Thank you.